Can't slow me down like speed up Keep up when I speed up See the future that's my path See the smoke when I drive past See the fast way of living life fast What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're joining me back at the unit for a POV drive in another Shadow Edition BMW M140i. This ain't an ordinary one no. Highest modified one we've bought. Most expensive one we've bought. Newest one we've bought. Probably the best M140 on the internet. So as usual, we'll do a little walk around and then we'll go hit the strip and see what she'd like to drive. Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life. This one's actually just gone live on the website. 530 horsepower, mineral white, 2017 M3 competition. Some of you probably won't remember, but I said as soon as the Hellcat goes, that's when we start the B58 build. So we're going to be forging this engine and slapping a G35 1050 on her, yeah? We're looking for a thousand horsepower. Get ready, it's getting off. But anyway, lads, on to this 2018 Shadow Edition M140i. 475 horsepower is what the previous owner claims. I did buy it from a dealer. And yeah, you can see it's a really, really nice example because we do have the M3 CS alloys, the exact same wheels I had fitted on my M140. Obviously, I had mine finished in the goldy sort of, it's almost like a yellow, isn't it? But um, yeah, these are 18 inches versus mine being 19 inches. In my opinion, you can't make an M140i look better than this. You can't beat a black on black with M3 CS alloys lowered this time on IBAC Pro Springs. So not as aggressive as the H&Rs, but it just sits perfectly, rides, rides nicely round town. And as I say, 68 plate, brand spanking new, uh, 32,000 miles on the clock, shadow edition. So it comes with a lot of optional extras like Spotify, you get electric heated seats. Anyone that's got an M140 will tell you that they have most likely got manual seats. These are fully electric. There's no thing here to slide it forward and back. Well, this is just to pull this llama bit out. Look at the condition. Obviously, eight-speed ZF gearbox. This has been stage three tuned. As you can imagine, 475 horsepower means it's got upgraded fuel pump. Not sure on what fuel pump it is. Obviously, three liter, single turbocharged engine, stock turbo. So yeah, we've got the M3CS wheels. We've got the calipers finished in orange. We've got upgraded brakes. Uh, you can see at the front, we've got these drilled and grooved discs. We have upgraded pads, upgraded brake lines. So uh, they are braided lines, braided with upgraded uh, brake fluid as well. So brakes are awesome. Do make a little bit of a squeal, but that's what happens when you go different compound brakes. We've got full Maxton body kit, front splitter, side skirts, a carbon Maxton wing, really nice touch. Maxton diffuser and performance tips. This one obviously does have a decat downpipe. Wind deflectors, actually a cool little touch. M3 style mirrors. And as I say, I don't think you can make an M140i look better than this thing right here. As soon as I saw it, I was like, fuck man. Spending like three, four grand more than we'd usually want to spend, but um, on the website, it's doing really well. Black Kindy grills, black badges. Another thing to note is it's got Michelin Pilot Sport four tires on the front. We've also got Michelin Pilot Sport five tires on the rear. And one big modification, how did I nearly forget? It's got an M Performance Limited Slip Differential. That is why this car costs a little bit more. This car is literally ready to go, the perfect car. Puts its power down, it's not got the open diff, it doesn't just spin up an inside wheel. But don't get me wrong, with these Pilot Sport five tires, you've got so much rear end grip that it's almost hard to sort of throw this car out. I mean, it's got enough power if you really, really commit and agitate it but it is stuck now to the ground obviously lowered center of gravity with the eye back lowering springs check this out people sorry about my mess but we've got a rear strut as well not sure which company it is baf motorsport these guys actually sent one for my gtr which i've not installed but um yeah so this is going to make the car a bit more rigid make the car handle that a little bit better so yeah, that is the end of the walk around. We're gonna go hit the strip now. Obviously, you know, tomorrow, 10.30, somebody will be winning this car for £1.99. Tickets are literally flying. If you do want a chance at winning, highly recommend grabbing a ticket ASAP. Ticket link will be in the description. But yeah, let's go hit the strip. Living life fast. Jeez. What is going on, guys? You join man in the cabin. Let's get them windows up. So uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I filmed this POV section here first and then I did the walk around after, so I may repeat myself, but it is what it is. We're out here, M140i business, 2018. This car definitely 
the best M140 on the internet. Probably the most expensive one we've bought. Definitely the best spec one we've bought. Probably more spec than my own personally M140. 475 horsepower is what they claim. Boot mod stage three, or sorry, boot mod stage two plus tune. It has got some serious low down torque. Just like the white M140, but difference being, this one definitely feels a bit more punchier in the mid-range. Obviously, Stage 2 Plus is upgraded fuel pump. One other difference is most of the M140s I drive have H&R lowering springs. This has got the iBack Pro. Not sure on the difference on millimeters, but definitely not sitting as aggressive as the H&R. So we've got it in manual mode right now. And this one's got a stage three flash on the gearbox. Very responsive. Oi. Yeah, it's hard, man, because we filmed so many of my voices, but you cannot be. I mean, listen to that B58, man. Look, foot down. And we've got the M Performance Limited Slip Diff. That is obviously the biggest difference. Talking anything from probably 1,500 to 2,000 pounds for that option. Um, all of these LSDs, there's a few different options, like the M Performance Diff. The way that it can lock up and go into a power slide is completely different to the Quave. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, boy. But she is moving. The gearbox is on point. So that's me smoothing it into the power, I like. And then when I go flat, it's like, no, fuck that, go down again. Yeah, but definitely not getting as much heat soak with this car as well. What I've noticed is with some of the previous ones, after a few hard pulls it starts to zap the power you feel like you're losing around 30 40 bhp but this is staying consistent so this is the step before you probably want to run mare for some people go to ethanol you can go like 500 plus the company we bought this from they claim 475 horsepower obviously they would have purchased it from a customer um, i think that owner has sort of commented on some of the posts but yeah as i say the mods are ridiculous you're talking uh stage 2 plus tune upgraded fuel pump we've got a vrsf downpipe gearbox software it's had iBat lowering springs wheels have also been spaced we've got michelin ps5 tires first time i've driven with ps5 tires actually and even with the um look it's not it don't wanna the traction is just awesome we've got ps4 tires on the front with the m3 cs alloys man this in my opinion is the best looking you can sorry let me rephrase that. i don't think i spoke in english then but uh, i don't think you can make an m140i look better than this car here it's sitting perfect it's got the ideal wheels that's why i went with the cs wheels i would have probably went with an 18 now rather than 19 because they ride a little bit better this car's not crashing uh, not sure if we have adaptive suspension because there isn't a specific button in to tell me but for anybody that missed it you can win this car for one pounds 99p this sunday at 10 30. we've got the rear strut brace as well stiffing things up a little bit don't think that's going to be a massive difference but every little helps boy it's hot boy Yeah, that little screw so this car does have upgraded brakes and what happens is with more aggressive pads depending on the compound you go with you can get a bit more of a squeal but it's going to improve braking massively and you do notice that these brakes are a lot better but even now it's really hot guys i'm really surprised at how so we've got upgraded j-hook discs upgraded pads uh, upgraded uh, braided lines we've got upgraded brake fluid very underestimated modification that brakes it's not underestimated to drivers but some youngsters that want to just slap a tune on the car man sort your brakes out definitely need to be able to brake with confidence man it's interesting actually with the software because usually the zf gearbox it just when you flatten it well there there you go it just dropped down two gears then uh, this one seems to drop down one gear then it drops another it doesn't just go wham second Oh, they're smoothing out this road, don't they? Yeah, the brakes are nice. Like, they don't feel super sensitive, but like nice and progressive. You know, when you jump in some of these golf cars, 
you press it and it's like all the brakes there at once whereas when you drive like a Porsche GT3 uh, initially they don't feel like there's a brake it's just a nice smooth obviously once you get heat into them they start working better but it's not an overly sensitive pedal so yeah brakes are good we've got decent rubber come on I'm not even gonna lie to people my head is just it's just felt heavy this week like I've heard people say it before, like, yeah, my head feels heavy, like, bro, like, I feel like my head's, like, top heavy. Yeah, it's interesting, because it's got M Performance LSD, but, you know, I've tried to kick it a few times, but it doesn't just, like, you know, you've really got to, I think, like, commit, or, like, I'm just trying to, do you know what I mean? There, it doesn't, you know, it's just hooking up and, and gripping, because we've got the best tyres you can get. Not sure on the difference with, like, the PS4 and the PS4S, but we've got PS4 up front, PS5 in the rear. But uh, it's just tons of traction, mate. Brand new tyres. Yeah, boy. Usually, eye backs are not as low and not as harsh as the H&Rs. The H&Rs, um, I mean, look, you know, like, they're still usable, but the eye backs are definitely the softer of the two. If you want a more comfortable ride. Yeah, it's like the gearbox software, sorry guys, from one convo to another, but um, it's almost like the uh, the gearbox, like it's a little smoother, almost, not slower, but yeah, it's definitely managing the gear shifts a lot better. It feels like it's not being as aggressive, but like it does feel a bit more brutal, should I say, like on like a stage one map, but this one's got like a stage three, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is they do, but like I can say it doesn't feel as brutal uh, as they usually do. But then saying that, I've just come out of a TTS, which is a whole different manufacturer. Bro, it puts every last one of its ponies down. <laughs> Sounds nice. And this has got a pop and bang mat, which you can have turned off. Don't know how. I think maybe you just put it in sport. The only thing is about going out to sport, I think you lose that gear shift speed I don't know what it is with m 140s look you rev it fine but then if you press it again quick it goes Ugh, like it just drags look it's it dragging that's flat look initially it flies up but then you press oh no look there it's fine nah it's all right uh, let's see um, what happens if we just accelerate flat. <laughs> Shit, we've not got traction off, that's one thing. I like this car a lot, man. Very punchy. Sound on this engine, my god. The TTS, you've got nice whooshes and stuff, but. Bro, you're not beating that, are you? But the brakes can just smash the brakes. Boy. Right, so guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that's the end of the video. I know it's another bloody M140, but it is what it is. We got some sick cars though that I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at Jap cars, just trying to find the right ones, man. Get a lot of emails, a lot of people message us saying, do you want this, do you want that? Um, but yeah, I'm looking at two awesome cars on eBay right now. I'm telling you, I like them a lot. Um, probably a car that I'll try buy myself off the winner. But um, yeah, remember this Sunday, 10.30, somebody will be winning this car for £1.99. Uh, congratulations to Gary uh, from Gatwick. He won the TTS. He did spend about 400 quid on tickets. I'm not going to lie to you, but just won himself a 30 plus grand motor. So yeah, ticket link in the description and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Slow me down like speed hump no. Keep up no. when I speed up no. See your future, that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane, living life fast See a girl, she's in my car mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel That's five stars yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear